This lesson will learn how to expand and simplify some surge. Now, for surge, we do them exactly as we would with any other kind of expansion. So, for example, if you had 2x plus 3x minus 5, we would expand this as 2x times x, 2x squared, 2x times negative 5 minus 10x, 3 times x, 3x, and 3 times negative 5, negative 15, which would give you 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. So we just apply this method to questions that involve thirds. So in question A, we have 2 plus 5 root 2 times 4 minus root 2. So let's expand first 2 times 4, which will be 8. 2 times negative root 2, negative 2 root 2. 5 root 2 times 4, 5 fourths are 20, 20 root 2. And 5 root 2 times negative root 2 would be minus 5 times. Now, root 2 times root 2 is root 4, which is 2. So that's 5 times 2 there. So we'll get 8 minus 2 root 2 plus 20 root 2 minus 10. So we'll have 8 minus 10, which is negative 2. And 20 root 2 minus 2 root 2 would be 18 root 2. And of course, you can reverse that around and write 18 root 2 minus 2. In question B, we will expand it in the same way. We've got 2 root 3 times 3 root 2. So we've got 2 times 3, which is 6. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6. 2 root 3 times negative root 5 would be negative 2. Root 3 times root 5 would be root 15. Negative root 2 times 3 root 2 would be negative 3. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. Then negative root 2 times negative root 5 would be plus root 10. So we could write that down as 6 root 6 minus 2 root 15 minus 6 plus root 10. And there's no more simplification that can be done with that problem. In question C and D, we can do these a quick way, but we'll do question C the long way first. We have 2 root 7 times 2 root 7 which would be 4 times root 7 times root 7 is 7, plus 2 root 7 times negative 3 root 5. So that would be negative 6 root 5 times root 7 would be root 35. Then we have 3 root 5 times 2 root 7. That would be 6 root 35. And then 3 root 5 times negative 3 root 5, that would be negative 9. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. So you can see the two terms in the middle are the same but opposite sides, so these will cancel. So we'll have 4 7s are 28, minus 5 9s are 45, and this will give us negative 17. Now, question C and D can be done using the difference of squares rule. And that states that if you've got A squared minus B squared, that's the same as A minus B times A plus B. And this is the quickest way to do these kinds of problems. Notice your numbers. You've got 9 minus 2 root 5, 9 plus 2 root 5. So this is the same as saying A minus B, A plus B. And when we expand it, we'll get a squared minus b squared. So we don't have to do the long method that we showed in question C. So let's do it the shorter way. So if you've got a minus b, a plus b, we'll get a squared minus b squared. Here a is 9. So we can write that as 9 squared minus b squared. And b here is 2 root 5. So minus 2 root 5 
all squared. So take a note, 9 minus 2 root 5 times 9 plus 2 root 5 is 9 squared minus 2 root 5 squared. And 9 squared is 81 minus 2 squared is 4, root 5 squared is 5. So we'll have 81 minus 20, which will be 61. Thanks for watching.